Hello everyone and good afternoon. Welcome back to J Beauty Style. Now, you're looking at my face and you're saying, Jay, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I had a full face of makeup on earlier for something else that I was doing. And I took off all the foundation, color, and powder and left on the eyes, but the eyes got a little messy when I was taking off the makeup. The lips are from, if you have not seen the video prior to this one, because I'm going to post both of them today, check out the MYX Advent Calendar Unboxing. I actually tried some of the samples because they are sample sized. All of them, there were no full sizes in the MYX 2022 Advent Calendar, but they had some really cute things and I'll incorporate some of them into this video. But for now, I'm starting with a clean face other than the eyes and the lips. And I discovered this product a few months ago. I just ordered it, hadn't heard anything about it, no reviews, nothing. And Juvia's Place, hi Juvia's Place. This video, by the way, is not sponsored, but you guys can reach out. Okay, Juvia's Place Vitamin C. Come so cute, right? And I love things that come in droppers. Why? I don't know. It feels so French laboratory to me. I love it. So anyway, I'm just going to drop a little here on my hand. Just a drop. And everyone, I use this every morning. I just sort of dab on my face. Get my neck. And usually in the morning, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. So I get my decollete area pretty well. A little dab will do you. Okay, so I love this product actually. Vitamin C, it's brightening, it's great for the skin, it's wonderful, okay? So, now that I've done that, because I told you that my face was washed and clean, and I actually did use a serum this morning, a peptide serum this morning. I'm not gonna name the company because I don't have it right here with me. Another video. Anyway, so now I'm going to move on to my Jeffree Star. Can you see that? The Star Daily Moisturizer. And you can see that I use this so much. It's almost gone. Ha, ah, sad, sad. But I will get more. And Jeffree, you can hook me up too. Just saying. So anyway, I use just a little bit. And again, I put it on my hand here. This is color. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, no, it's gone now. Good. All right. I'm just going to take a little bit, rub it in between my fingers. For daytime, I do not use a lot of moisturizer. I don't slather it on. I have so many other products that I use in the morning that moisturize my skin. Nighttime, night cream. Yeah, I slather that on. All right. Anyway. So again, there's a residue on my hand. And I tell you why I do that. Our hands, we try to take care of them. You know, we wash them. We use moisturizing lotions on them, that sort of thing. But our hands get so neglected, especially for a part of our body that is so very used. So I like to pop product for my face here prior to putting it on. And then if there's residue, I sort of rub it into my hands because you know what? Your hands, they need that pampering too. So moving on. Here is a facial mist that I use, okay? It's just something that I usually pick up. Uh, Pearl Essence, Rose Water and Squalane. It's a calming facial mist, okay? And I discovered this, someone told me about it and it's inexpensive. I don't know. I think it's something like $10, $15. And I just sort of take this prior to putting on my makeup. And it feels so good. So while I'm letting that sort of dry in, I'll put this up here. I'm going to tell you about my what I'm going to do under my eyes. Now, like many women of color, I have hyperpigmentation. I always have, okay, always have, under my eye, okay, which you can see, and around my mouth, always I've had that, okay? 
So I'm going to color correct. And the way that I color correct this is usually I use a product that has red in it, okay? Back in the early, early days, I used to use red lipstick before, you know, all the products, all the products, and all the girls had the products. I use red lipstick. But here is a palette that I love. And this palette, I don't know if you recognize the logo. Where is the logo? Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. Um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills or Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Okay. This palette is discontinued. This palette is discontinued. This palette is discontinued. See, I, I, I can't believe it. That's why I keep saying it. I love this palette. I love it. I've been through two or three leading up to this one and I have this one and I love it. This is my last one. So I'm going to use the red, reddish to go around my mouth. Uh, I'll take a little bit of the beauty with my beauty blender and just sort of dab it on for now. And I'll show you what I'm going to do after going around the corners of my mouth. I'm going to take a little bit, go underneath my eyes. Okay. Now this is for like a quick face that I'm doing every day in the morning. So this is what I do. Everyone always asks me, what time do you get up in the morning? Because, you know, you come in here full face, takes five minutes. If I weren't sitting here talking through with you guys, five minutes tops. So anyway, let's continue. So that just helps with the hyperpigmentation. And then I will go into my concealer. Okay, I could use my palette, mixing some colors, but I'm not. I'm actually going to pull out my, let's see here. How are you guys today? Enough about me. Well, it is about me right now, but how are you guys today? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Concealer, and I will link the product um, names or numbers down below, okay? This is a wonderful, wonderful product. It's creamy, it's long-lasting, it doesn't cake up or anything like that, and I love the doe foot. It's kind of curved, and you can sort of just get under there. Just not much, okay? That's what I'm going to do with that. And I'm going to go in and blend with this. I am normally cannot do makeup well on camera, looking into the camera. I need mirrors around me. But I'm going to do it like this right now. Unless I might have to grab a mirror. Okay, so I just sort of punch it in. Do not wipe. Okay, punch it in. And, you know, I'm going to put a little bit around my mouth, okay? Just here and here. Okay, again, this is from Jeffree Star, this concealer. I just put a little bit around my mouth. And I'm also going to take my Beauty Blender and sort of punch this in and, and actually going to come back to it when I go in with my foundation. Okay. No product is wasted, honey. We use everything around here. There's a little left over here. We take it up somewhere else. Blend, blend, but don't blend in. Okay. Uh, let's see. So next, I'm actually going to do some foundation. I am going to use, before I use my foundation, I am going to use my NYX color corrector that's almost done. Okay, this is actually a primer and it's in CCLP03. So the color is 03. Again, I will link everything down below. And this is a squeeze tube and I don't know if any more is gonna come out because I have, as you can see, used this product. Now I got a little bit out, just a little dab. It will do you. Okay, and I'm just gonna dab it about. I'm not going to rub it all over my face, and you'll see why in a second. So, I am going to take my foundation brush, and this brush is by Juvia's Place. They actually have a larger one that I adore, but 
I need to clean it. We have to clean our, our brushes properly. And I meant to do that this morning, but I didn't have time. So I'm using another brush by Juvia's Place. And you will see, I'm just taking the primer and punching it in to my face. Not under my eye. Maybe in the corners of my eye, but I'm just sort of punching it in. A lot of times we forget the corners of our mouth, so let's go and punch that in. I think I am gonna have to grab my handy mirror. Let's see. I should keep it around, but I don't. Where is the mirror? I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so I did that. So now, instead of adding the foundation, I think I'm gonna add a little powder. This product, and it has makeup on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's from She Glam. Who makes She Glam? Sheen. I just took a chance, ordered this, and it's called the Insta Ready Powder by She Glam. I love it. I love it. Now, as you can see, this powder and I, we became friends, and I don't want to break up with her anytime soon. So I'm going to take a little of this with another beauty blender. And this is what I do sometimes, not all the time. I just go around it like this. And I'm going to go under my eye. I know you guys are saying, uh-uh, Miss J. But trust the process. It comes together. Okay. All right. So that's under my eye, on the side of my nose, on my nostrils. And I'm gonna let that sit. Now I am not a baker, okay? Baking most of the time. But I'm gonna let that sit for a minute because I'm gonna go for my foundation. Now, this foundation's packaging is covered in makeup. So forgive it and me. But this is also by Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place, you guys need to hook me up. All right, this is by Juvia's Place. And it's in the color J9. And I always remember that because I have gone through so many of these. I usually buy two or three at a time because I'm old school. I'm like, this company is going to discontinue this product, like my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. But I'm just going to keep some on hand as long as I can. So it's also in a tube. But I'm just going to take a little dab on my finger. See? Very little. And that's actually too much. And I'm just going to dab it on my face. And when you're doing your makeup, don't forget underneath your chin a little of your decollete. I do not do makeup all down here unless it's something special, someplace I'm going and it's really ties in with my outfit. I'll put a little glow and shimmer down there if I'm showing skin here, but I don't typically put makeup all the way here because I don't want it rubbing on my clothes. So I am just going to punch this in Punch this in the foundation, the Juvia's Place in J9. And no, they didn't name it after me, but they should. We can talk about it. And I just love this foundation because it warms the skin. It feels good. It's long lasting. I don't have to worry about it looking funny or streaking throughout the day because I don't have time to stop most of the time unless I'm doing something for beauty. Stop and check. Oh, is my foundation? How does it look? Is it streaking? Is it oxidized and it's looking crazy? But I like this particular foundation by Juvia's Place. Not sponsored but we can talk. All right, so moving on from there, I am going to take a little brush and just sort of blend out that 
powder, the She Glam powder that I put underneath my eyes. I need to fix that eyeshadow. Put underneath my eyes so that I won't be looking so crazy. I'm looking off to the side in this little complex mirror that I have. Okay. Okay. Now, all right. Lips, I told you, is a combination of colors from the unboxing of the MYX um, Advent Calendar. Now, I again, this is like an everyday look. Okay, so I am going to now take a larger brush, a powder brush, okay? And I am going to use a palette, and this is also, it is well used. This is also by Anastasia, or Anastasia, but I love the way Anastasia sounds. Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and yes, Miss J has used this palette, okay? It is also discontinued. I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to start crying. But I'm going to use a little powder, a combination of the light brown and the lighter brown or tan. I do this. And I just sort of go all over my face. Let me get my little mirror again. But yes, these products, they're discontinued. And someone told me, well, you know, you can get them on eBay. Girl, I don't know what, no. No, and can I say no again? No, I don't, I don't know. I haven't tried that, purchasing discontinued products, but I no, it could be around forever. How, you know, they maybe the person got it, bought several of them when the product first launched, it could have been years, and no. So I haven't taken that route yet. So I put a little all over my face, okay? As you just saw. Now I'm just gonna take a contour brush that same Anastasia palette that has been discontinued, the contour powder kit. And, and this was in the medium to tan, medium to tan, Anastasia of Beverly Hills discontinued contour palette kit, the pressed powder one. I love it. I wish it wasn't discontinued. Anyway, so I'm just going to take a little bit of, you can see my well-used contour color. It's a dark brown, not too dark, but it's dark brown. And I'm just going to go underneath my cheekbone. And people will ask me all the time or say to me, you have cheekbones. Why do you contour your face? I just like the little bit of the shape, especially uh, when I weigh more than I possibly should. Um, a little bit of the shape, okay, to bring out my cheekbones. And actually for right now, I'm going to use, which has been extremely well used. This is like a gold highlighter in this same contour kit. I'm going to use this and just lightly, and you may not be able to really see it in this light on this camera, but, and I also put a little on my nose. Now I will take a little brush and I'm sorry, I don't know where these brushes are from. I think it's a set that I ordered from Amazon. I'm almost positive. I use this with the same brown from the contouring kit. I use that. Oh, I got makeup all over. Okay, and I just sort of go alongside my nostrils. Let me use a little compact, I can do it better. Alongside my nostrils, nothing too deep because I do love my my nose. My nose is a combination of several cultures and I love it. So I just do that. I am going to, am I gonna do this today? Am I gonna put any cheek color on? No, I'm not. I'm just gonna go with my contour. I have a little highlighter on. I am ready for a basic day. I'm keeping on this same eyeshadow um, that I had on for my earlier video. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. But yes, so here we are. Here we are, I'm gonna clean it up a little. 
and thank you for keeping me company through this video. <laughs> One of the best 20 minutes I've ever spent. You guys have a blessed afternoon and drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. All right. Talk to you later.